Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends. Today in this video, we'll be solving one very, very interesting and challenging rational equation problem from Stanford Math Tournament 2019. So let's get started by writing our denominators cannot be 0. So we'll be writing here x cannot be 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now we will write our numerators. So we'll be writing here x square minus 10x, 24 can be written as 25 minus 1 over x minus 5 plus x square minus 12x, 35 is 36 minus 1 over x minus 6 equal to x square minus 14x, 48 can be written as 49 minus 1. Denominator is x minus 7 plus x square minus 16x and 63 is 64 minus 1. Denominator is x minus 8. Now from first three terms of the numerator written expression, we will write one perfect square of x minus 5 whole square minus 1 over x minus 5 plus x minus 6 whole square minus 1 over x minus 6 equal to x minus 7 whole square minus 1 over x minus 7 plus x minus 8 whole square minus 1 over x minus 8. Now we are going to split numerator with respect to denominator. We can write x minus 5 minus 1 over x minus 5 plus x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 6 equal to x minus 7 minus 1 over x minus 7 plus x minus 8 minus 1 over x minus 8. Now x plus x is 2x in the LHS which we will cancel from RHS x plus x which is 2x. So 2x and 2x would be subtracted from both the sides. We will write equation minus 5 minus 6 minus 11 minus 1 over x minus 5 minus 1 over x minus 6. In RHS, minus 7 minus 8 minus 15 minus 1 over x minus 7 minus 1 over x minus 8. Now we will rearrange our LHS RHS. We will take minus 15 to the LHS and these two terms we will take to the RHS. So in LHS we will write 15 minus 11 which is 4. Let us write here. We will write 1 over x minus 5 minus 1 over x minus 8. Then we will be writing plus 1 over x minus 6 minus 1 over x minus 7. This is our RHS which we are writing in LHS equal to 15 minus 11 is 4. Now we will simplify these two terms all together, these two terms all together. So we can write x minus 8 minus x plus 5 in the numerator. In denominator, we will multiply x minus 5 with x minus 8. Then we have plus Again, we will multiply x minus 6 with x minus 7 and in numerator we will write x minus 7 minus x plus 6 equal to 4. Now plus x minus x will be cancelled out from numerator. So minus 8 plus 5 is minus 3 over x minus 5 times x minus 8. We will write x square 
माइनस फाइव एक्स माइनस एट एक्स माइनस थर्टीन एक्स माइनस फाइव टाइम्स माइनस एट प्लस फोर्टी प्लस माइनस सेवन प्लस सिक्स इज माइनस वन इन द न्यूमरेटर ओवर एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस सेवन माइनस सिक्स माइनस थर्टीन एक्स माइनस सिक्स टाइम्स माइनस सेवन माइनस माइनस प्लस फोर्टी टू इक्वल टू फोर Now you can see in denominator we have x square minus 13x plus 40 x square minus 13x plus 42. So let us consider x square minus 13x plus 41 equal to u. So we will write x square minus 13x plus 40 u minus 1 x square minus 13x plus 42 u plus 1. So we'll write our equation minus three over u minus one plus minus one over u plus one equal to four. Now we will take minus sign to the RHS. So multiply both sides by negative one. We will get three over u minus one plus one over U plus one equal to negative four. Let's take LCM. So we will get U minus one times U plus one in the denominator, and here we will write three U plus three, which is three times U plus one plus one times U minus one will be U minus one equal to negative four. Three U plus U is four U. 3 minus 1 is plus 2 over u square minus 1 using difference of two squares formula equal to minus 4 now we will cross multiply 4u plus 2 equal to minus 4 times u square minus 1 or we will write 4u plus 2 equal to minus 4u square Plus four. Now we can take minus four u square to the LHS and four to the RHS. So we'll be writing four u square plus four u in the LHS and four minus two in the RHS, which is two. Now equation is divisible by two. We will divide by two both sides. So I can write two u square plus two u. Equal to one. If we will use quadratic formula, we can use, or we can solve this equation from this step itself using completing the square method. So let me use completing the square method. So we'll write here four u square plus four u equal to two. Now we will add one to both sides. Now, from these three terms, we can write this is perfect square of two u plus one, and in RHS we have two plus one three. Now we will take square root both sides, so two u plus one will be equal to plus minus square root three. Or I can subtract one from both sides and write two u equal to minus one plus minus square root three. Let's divide both sides by two, so that we will get u value. U will be equal to negative one plus minus root three over two. Now this is our u, and u was our substitution. X square minus thirteen x plus forty one. So I will write here x square minus 13x plus 41. This was u equal to minus 1 plus minus square root 3 over 2. Now we have to solve for the value of x. So I will subtract 41 from both the sides. Let me write here x square minus 13x. This would be equal to minus forty one plus minus one plus minus root three over two. 
now we will simplify our rhs first so i can write here minus 82 minus 1 plus minus root 3 over 2 which will give us minus 83 plus minus square root 3 over 2 this is equal to x square minus 13 x now if we will use quadratic formula then it is going to complicate it means calculation would be harder so i will use again the completing the square method coefficient of x is 13 half of 13 is 13 over 2 the square of 13 over 2 is 169 over 4 so we are going to add 169 over 4 to both sides now lhs will give us perfect square of x minus 13 over 2 and rhs would be will make our denominator same which is 4 so i need to double our numerator minus 83 times 2 minus 166 plus minus double of square root 3 2 root 3 then we have plus 169 now 169 minus 166 would be 3 so 3 plus minus 2 root 3 over 4 is our rhs let me write here x minus 13 over 2 whole square will be equal to 3 plus minus 2 root 3 over 4 let me write here x minus 13 over 2 whole square value 3 plus 2 root 3 over 4 and 3 minus 2 root 3 over 4 now root 3 is 1.732 approximately and double of that is 3.4 something so 3 minus 3.4 will be one negative number our square is negative we are going to get complex solutions so we can reject 3 minus 2 root 3 over 4 so i will be writing here x minus 13 over 2 whole square equal to 3 plus 2 root 3 over 4 now we have to consider square root both sides so i will write here x minus 13 over 2 will be equal to plus minus square root of 3 plus 2 square root 3 over 4 or we can write plus minus 3 plus 2 root 3 in the square root over square root 4 is 2 now we have to only add 13 by 2 both sides to get our final answer so i will add 13 over 2 to both sides we will get x equal to 13 over 2 plus minus square root of 3 plus 2 root 3 over square root 4 which is 2 now denominator is same we will write common denominator to 13 plus minus square root of 3 plus 2 square root 3 so we are going to get two real solutions one with plus sign in between another is negative sign in between both solutions are real solutions i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye